Hello everyone and welcome to the second video of the cardiovascular system. In this video, we're going to cover the heart surfaces, borders, and external features. The heart has four borders. It has a superior border, inferior or diaphragmatic border, right border, and left border. So when we talk about the superior border, it is made of right and left atria. The right border is made of the right atrium. The left border is made of left ventricle chiefly, and there is small contribution from the left auricle, which is part of the left atrium. And for the diaphragmatic or inferior border, it is made of the right ventricle chiefly and small contribution of the left ventricle. So how will you remember that? Remember that up and right, they are atria. Left and down, they are ventricles. Right, only one structure, which is atrium. Left, only one structure or chiefly one structure, which is ventricle. Up, two structures, atria. Down, two structures, ventricles. So again, we have right atrium, right border, superior border, right and left atria. And by the diaphragmatic for the right and left ventricles and left border by left ventricle. So again, remember, up and right atria, down and left ventricles, right, right atrium, left, left ventricle, up to atria, down to ventricles. Now moving to the next, when we talk about the surfaces of the heart, remember that we have two surfaces, we have the base and apex. So think about your heart as if it's kind of um, a pyramid, which is rotated in a specific way where the base is reaching the posterior surface and the apex is directed forward to the left. So here is the, the apex of the heart, and to the back is the base of the heart, and then you have the sternocostal surface, which is anteriorly, and then you have the diaphragmatic surface, which is inferiorly. So how will you remember what is making the surfaces of the heart apex and base? Remember that we will um, distribute them fairly. So we will have a surface with the apex, another surface with the base. What does that mean? It means that the sternocostal surface is made by the right ventricle. The apex is made by the left ventricle. So it's sternocostal and apex ventricles. Sternocostal right ventricle, apex left ventricle. Now we have another surface and the base. So the diaphragmatic surface is two ventricles and the base is two atria. So again, sternocostal surface and apex ventricles. Right ventricle, left ventricle. Diaphragmatic surface and base, two and two. The ventricles are already down. So the two ventricles are making the diaphragmatic surface. And then the base, which is directed backwards, it's basically make it made up of the right and left atria. So here, that shows you that we have the sternocostal surface and the diaphragmatic surface. This is the base and this is the apex. Now, the last thing in this video, we need to know the external features of the heart. So you guys know that from the high school that we have four chambers of the heart. We have right atrium, we have left atrium, we have right ventricle, and then left ventricle. The atria and ventricle are, just, are, are kind of divided by grooves. So when we talk about the, the groove that separates the two atria from the two ventricles, we can see them from the from the posterior aspect as you look at this 
which is the coronary sinus. So the coronary sinus is what separates the two atria from two ventricles. So this is the atrioventricular groove. However, anteriorly, the atrioventricular groove is covered by the pulmonary trunk and aorta. We also have groove that separates the two atria, right and left. We can see it from the posterior aspect. So this is the interatrial groove posteriorly that separates the right, right atrium from the left. But anteriorly, it's difficultly seen, again, because of the uh, pulmonary trunk and aorta. The two ventricles are also separated by the interventricular sulcus or groove. And in that sulcus, the interventricular artery runs. So anteriorly, I have the anterior interventricular artery and vein. They run in the interventricular sulcus. So once I see those vessels, I'm sure that what, what's to the right is the right ventricle and what's to the left is the left ventricle. The same thing happens posteriorly. In the posterior interventricular sulcus runs the posterior interventricular vessels. So once I see them, I know that what's to the right is the right ventricle and what's to the left is the left ventricle. So as a recap for the external features, we have two atria, right atrium, left atrium making the base of the heart. I have two ventricles, right ventricle, left ventricle. From the posterior aspect, I have right ventricle and left ventricle. And this is a small summary to the external features of the heart. These are the references of today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.